Okay, morning folks. Here we have a turn and release. This is a toilet door lock latch, whatever you want to call it, by, I don't know, is it by G, G Do? G Do? J Do? Collection? Whatever. Anyway, so inside the pocket, there is no instructions whatsoever. Okay, nothing. So not even on the box, you can see. I mean, if you can look it up, it's up to you. Turn your release, it doesn't say anything. There's the number if you're interested. These were quite reasonable. I think it was about 10 quid a piece. Right, so I've opened one up already, just to have a look and see how it goes together. So I'm gonna try and show you by fitting one of these on a toilet in a place where I work. Uh, on the one end, you have a, a pin which is a pressure pin, one of these little squeezy things that just it's pressed in, so that's there permanently, so you don't touch that one. On the other end, you have an Allen key. Just give me a second. Which comes in this little packet, comes with it. Let me just grab that out. And then that will release this side, which is what you've got to do, because all doors and thickness of the doors are going to be different. And that slides out, so this has got to be cuttable, so you hence you'll need a decent axle, which we have here. You've got, a th I'm going to call them snap screws or whatever you want to call them, um, that go through the door and hold each one in place, and I will show you that as well. It depends which way around you want to do it, but on one end you'll have, well you can see if I get it close, see they've got a little square or whatever you want to call it, and that'll fit in one side. I'm going to put it on this side, uh, and they'll fit in snug as a bug, like so, flush. Okay, and then we'll have to measure the other end, which is coming through the door, with another one, and it will go on the bit that says either engaged or open, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So this will go through there, and then it'll go in like so after everything's cut down to fit the thickness of your door of course because all toilet doors are slightly different and then you can cut this i think with a pair of cutters but i'll show you that once i'm fitting it okay so you just snip each one of these little gaps in between which then leaves it so that then this will fit beautifully over the top you see what i mean so if you cut that then you've got a gap you cut it in the middle and then that'll leave it so it'll just automatically thread back onto the next bit or the next bit or the next bit all right so that's what we're doing today we're going to fit one of these locks on the toilet this one will go on the inside of the toilet like so so when the door closes this will be attached to the door and then this will be just pushed down and as it pushes down it'll engage this one which will say because this is fixed this thing is fixed to this bit here uh, we have to have a penny lock on the other side in case of anything else or an emergency. Um, so that's going to be done. And then with these, these are the caps that go on afterwards. And if you look at this one, particularly look at the packet, you'll see a little slit in it. And that will correspond wherever this lines up to say that it's engaged. See that? And that's what we're doing today. So... Without further ado, we shall go and have a look at these loos and see if we can fit one of these and I will show you it fitting, cutting and everything else. Forgot to mention, you're going to need, I this I think this might be a bit small, 14. Okay, so we're going to remove this and then what we're going to do is put this one there and that's how it's going to work. So it's going to lock the door like so, okay. So I'm going to drill a hole, one of these, we'll use one of these because it will all be covered anyway, look, see. So I'm going to probably pick that one and then I'm going to drill with that 14 mil bit through there. So it just don't go all the way through, well it doesn't matter really. And then we're going to line this up and go from there. Okay, looks like it's going to have to be. It come around that way. It's not going to fit. It's got to be a 15 or a 16. 
So I've gone all the way through with a 16mm spade end. A little bit of awkward angle, but so I put that in, in there because this is the bit that moves. Put on there and now I'm going to mark this roughly so I know it'll fit inside here. If you give it a bit more to cut it, and that way if it's too if it's too much you can always take a bit more off. If it's too little you can't. Okay, so I cut it down. And now this is gonna go on the outside. So yeah, I can't see that properly because I'm holding it like so. It looks like it's not in the middle, but it is it's spot on. And hold on a second. So each door is going to be different, so make sure you get the measurements right. Right. So I put this where I wanted it, and I've marked two small holes. You'll see, you'll see through there, and then drilled it. So I've popped that into there which goes into, if you can look at the hex or 50 pence piece shaped. And the other one I've pre-drilled, which will go down a bit. I can move that. And then I think, if I'm right, if I just cut in here with a pair of snips, at the very first one, we should fit fine. There's that. So the two small threaded bolts that go through, with the um, hexagon on each end, I had to cut down quite small, a lot smaller than this to fit. And then you just put them through, so I didn't show you doing that. And then um, I put one at the top, one at the bottom. You're better off drilling the whole thing first and putting maybe one screw in somewhere else and then putting the other two in. And yeah, then it works a treat. There we go. So you line this hole up when it says locked and then when it's unlocked. That's it. If you enjoyed the vid, give it a thumbs up and a like, that would be great.